Today I would like to discuss three principles uh, stated by Tina Selig in, in her uh, book on, on creativity that will help you to start and develop a powerful innovation engine. These three principles are framing, connecting and brainstorming. The first of them is framing. Framing has a long history in, in art and, and, paint, and painting and it was an important discovery in 17th and 16th and 17th century uh, art practices very much connected to um, improvements in our knowledge of optics and also in the development of uh, theories and practices about the perspective about how we look at, at, th at things and how those things change depending on the standpoint of the of the viewer or the, the beholder in terms of using and understanding the frame and framing and reframing a problem to to really activate uh, your innovation engine you have to take into account four main things first is that when you change the frame through which you are seeing something a problem you will change the range of possible solutions. Second, is that there are many different scales at which you can frame a problem. You can take, for instance, wide angle pictures of a building, and you will realize that those views are very different from closer and closer and closer inspections. Would you take, for instance, a picture of a single uh, inch of any of the materials in, 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 in the facade or, or in a window? Third, it's very important that we translate these visual ideas of framing to our understanding of users and of people. So a very good way to change the frame of a problem is to try to empathize with different types of people and see how they perceive and experience that problem. Every single people would provide you with a different perspective and therefore with a different way to frame the problem. And finally, as a, as a summary of, of all these principles, take into, that, into account that changing the frame of reference, how you uh, define or describe the problem, will completely shift your perspective. So in order to uh, explore the space of possibilities to solve any problem, change the frame of reference several times so that you will um, produce a wide range of possible perspectives and then solutions. In order to put this into practice, we have used one of the most uh, famous paintings in the history of art, The Maids of Honor by Spanish um, Baroque painter Diego Velázquez. Please follow the video of the class in order to know how to apply uh, these ideas through a very practical exercise around the concept and the ideas of framing, light and scene.